Lewis, we've got a tremendous set of teachers, and that's one of our great strengths. So we've got subject experts in each area who have got industry experience of working in their area, sometimes as artists, sometimes as designers, sometimes as filmmakers, and many of them have had success in their area as independent photographers or video makers or as actors, people working in the industry, and they bring that experience and that passion for their subject to working with you when you apply with us. If you apply to come and do some work in the art design department at Lewis, you're gonna to want to have an interview before you come. Maybe before that, you'll even come round on open evening and have a look at the work that you see on, on show. I guarantee you're gonna enjoy it and you're gonna think it's of a very high standard, but don't be daunted by it because you are gonna go even further. And the most important thing to think about is what you can do and to remember that you are the culture, you're the next steps. So what we'd like you to do is if you're coming for an art and design interview, bring a portfolio of your work. Don't worry if you think it's not very good, don't worry if you don't think you've got enough, don't worry if you've got a few photos on your camera phone. Just bring whatever you've got, some scraps of paper, your sketchbooks, as much as you can because the person that's going to be interviewing you will get more and more information from your sketchbook and find out more about you the more they see. So as interview, you're going to meet someone who's going to talk to you about your work, find out which course you want to go on and guide you through that process. There's really nothing to be worried about. So if we have a look at some of the paintings that have been done in this room, this is Fine Art AS, and these paintings were actually painted upside down because working upside down is a, a way that students can learn how to distance themselves from the image and then produce something that is structurally much more developed and much more integral to what they want. It's a trick that artists have used or a technique that artists have used for hundreds of years but you've probably never heard about it or never thought about doing it before and that's the kind of inside information that you will get as a skill, as a teaching experience when you come to this college. I think confidence is one of the real things that's most difficult for young people and we make sure at Lewis whether you're doing fine art, whether you're doing graphics, whether you're doing art and design, whether you're doing photography, drama theatre studies, media, dance, performing arts, music, whatever, all of our creative subjects, you're going to get someone that's going to work with you one-to-one -one and give you that encouragement and support to really be the best you can be. Well, in the first year, I first few days of being in art, I am... Um, I felt very overwhelmed by it all, everyone was incredible and I just felt like I hadn't got the same amount of experience. Um, so I was quite scared, nervous by it all. But I spoke to Andrew and he said that everything's fine and I will find my like niche and what I enjoy to do and I have. It's been amazing, like I've enjoyed, um, I found landscape. It was very shocking, got an A in my first year so yeah I did not expect that at all considering how nervous I was. Um, start of the year and seeing my work in a the art gallery in Hastings was incredible because I've never had an experience like that before so just seeing my art on the wall was yeah it was a really proud moment